Hi folks, it's Martin here from Sweet Pea again, and I just want to talk to you today about Tearaway Stabilizer. Now, it's, I've always said that Tearaway is not my favourite when it comes to the backing for embroidery. And that's for a very good reason, it's because it comes away from the stitching, and it allows your work to collapse. But it does have a really, really important role in, in making freestanding objects like coasters, etc. Now, we... we um, tend to use wash away stabilizer for these sorts of things as well but I would say that in the not too distant future wash away stabilizer is going to be a little bit hard to get and so we've got to look at other options and so wash away there's wash away and there's heat away and there's all sorts of products out there tear away if you've got a good quality one there works just as good and is very very price efficient so Anything that's freestanding, and which is a solid mass which is freestanding, so it's finished with a satin stitch around the edge, is what we can use the tearaway for. If it was going to be lace or something like that, you don't want the tearaway in between your stitches. Now you, it just needs to be on the outside edge, so it's no good for freestanding lace, so save your water-soluble stabilizers for that. So we're making a coaster today. So I'm using a tearaway, which is nice and easy to tear. And if you can see, there's a fluffy edge. And that fluffy edge is what we refer to as rag. But it's not rag at all. It's actually, it's wood pulp. And so it's been made up through either heat bonded or chemically bonded paper with a little bit of wood pulp in it there to hold it together while it's stitching out. Because the last thing you want is your work falling out of the hoop before you are finished and that's very very important so we look at the amount of rag so if your tear away tears cleanly it's not going to work for you because it means that your job is going to fall out of your hoop before you're finished with it now i get um james to come a little bit closer and just show show you how this is just holding on by 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 um just hairs and that's the wood pulp because when I push that, see, it's going to come away. But I've had to push it quite heavily for that to happen because it's holding on nicely. If it was to come out really, really quickly, it means that I have a high degree of possibility that that would have fallen out of my hoop before I'd actually finished stitching. I do not want that. So it's nice, clean tear, but... All tearaways give you a little bit of fluff around the outside edge. Can you just see that there? It's just a little bit of fluff. And you can abrade it off with your finger or with a lighter. So you just want, with a, with a flame, you can just lightly burn it off. You don't want to melt your, your thread. So you can get little little torches, you can look at sugar burners that you use in the kitchen, etc. They, they work well. Just test. So we're doing it in a closed room and hopefully we don't hear any fire alarms. That's fine. And so that's just taken the edge off that. If you wanted to wet your finger and then rub it around the edge, you can. Um, a, a very, very light, soft emery board. Um, that you buff your nails with or do the finish your nails with and they can actually just take that edge off. Don't use anything too hard, you don't want to kill the stitching. But that is as good as using wash away and you don't have to wait for it to dry. Mm -hmm.